Hi, Tony Selza here. We got John Cansey with the Indiana Health Information Exchange and one of the, lar actually the largest health exchange in the in the country. Started, well, started how long ago, John? 11 years. 11 years. Really, really a, a very, a, a big idea before its time. And you've been around for eight, eight, eight of those years. How did this come about? How did the, the organization get started? So, uh, first, uh, credit to an organization called the Regan Street Institute, mm -hmm. which is literally internationally known uh, uh, independent research uh, organization here in Indiana, mm -hmm. connected to but not part of the School of Medicine. They were doing health information exchange before the country had a name for it. Okay. Uh, and in uh, the early 2000s, there were some business leaders, uh, healthcare leaders, along with Regan Street. Uh, in central Indiana that recognized that, hey, you know, there's enough problems in healthcare mm -hmm. that need to be solved that uh, we can probably use uh, information technology to attack some of those. Mm -hmm. And so that was kind of the birth of IHID was uh, starting out, they identified uh, kind of one one problem to solve uh, and uh, we've got, we've grown from there. So we still have a relationship with Regan Street, mm -hmm. uh, but uh, that that's, we've grown uh, to the point that we sort of carry the health information exchange water and they're uh, carrying the research water. And and really, your your the organization has evolved a great deal in that time, right? I mean, you know, there's yeah. been a, a, a some tremendous movements that have not only affected, but you've affected kind of the vision of those movements in where where um, accountable care is going and how to how to understand how we can stay healthy rather than than treat ourselves after we've been sick. So what have you seen? What have you seen move? And what's the biggest evolution you're going through now? So, uh, first of all, for the first half of our history, um, state and federal government really didn't pay much attention to health information exchange. So mm -hmm. you were sort of going on the principle that, uh, hey, we can solve a problem, create some value, uh, make some data available that can make healthcare uh, better, safer, less expensive. And that's still at the core of what we do. Mm -hmm. What's really uh, shaken things up in health information exchange is the recognition at the, the especially the federal level, right. that health information exchange uh, is something they should have everywhere. You think that would be a good thing, and in some ways it has, but it's put us in a bit of a blender. Um, so, uh, you know, uh, new laws, new regulations designed to accelerate things um, have sort of uh, slowed them down. Uh, created a lot of activity. Yeah. Some of which has been good activity. Some of which has been, you know, a distraction. Yeah. Uh, but that's the biggest change has been uh, reacting to and uh, and still trying to innovate in the context of a map that, that the federal government is trying to herd people down. Right. Well, and I, you know, just want to. I just I, I I said earlier when we were doing prep for this that you had an unenviable task, and and I, I think you know what what you know being a nonprofit trying to lead a laggard industry, really an industry that, that moves slowly and, and adopts change well, and then, and then having all this transformational change be mandated to it in the way it's gonna um, you know, make money, the way it's gonna uh, pay for its services, the way it's, it really it's, its business model is changing, and then being on the leading edge of that, I mean, you, know, we, you have an answer for a cancer, but you're also you're treating an unwilling patient, right? You know, and that, and I gotta imagine that's that's you know fun, exciting, and and you know uh, making you want to beat your head against the wall at the same time. Yeah, that's pretty. That's pretty close. Uh, I do think the way that we look at it, though, is is that uh, you know healthcare is the largest single sector of the economy. It's uh, in a state of uh, accelerating change. Mm -hmm. Information technology is always. Uh, fast changing and a, and a, and, and a dynamic healthcare and IT, uh, there's just so much opportunity. The, the healthcare system can be so much better. IT and, and, and information, uh, really with the focus on the information more than the IT, uh, is, it, is constant, it is, is increasing. People are beginning to understand the importance and the relevance of, of information. Uh, in healthcare, I mean, think mm -hmm. about it. You know, um, how how much has the 
uh, idea of you walk into an emergency department to be treated, mm-hmm. that doctor is trained and used to doing his or her job pretty much in the absence of any information that they don't gather right there, right now, right. on the spot, or that they send you for a test. Yeah. But if we can inform that encounter with contextual information about the patient that's before them, hey, did you know this patient has diabetes? Hey, did you know this patient is on this medication? Hey, did you know this patient had a major head trauma six months ago that they may or may not mention? Mm -hmm. Those things can um, all make care uh, better, safer, and and less expensive. Really really better care decisions saving lives. I mean, you know, I'd go ahead and go so far and say that. I mean, and volatility does create some unique opportunity, and you guys are definitely doing that not only for the members you serve but for the people that they serve so i appreciate everything you're doing and i'm glad that that you're in indiana so thanks so much for being on the show happy to do it thanks Tony.